four factors must be considered in order to determine whether a particular use of a copyrighted work qualifies as a fair use under the law. Each factor is weighed on a case-by-case -case basis and will either favor or disfavor a finding of fair use. Knowing something about the four factors can help even non-attorneys make reasonable fair use assessments. The first factor is the purpose and character of the use, including whether such use is of a commercial nature or for nonprofit educational purposes. A commercial use will tend to weigh against fair use, while a nonprofit educational use will tend to weigh in favor of fair use. But when considering commerciality, it's important to make a distinction between the use and the user. For instance, a nonprofit organization can make a commercial use of a work, like printing a copyrighted image on company merchandise, and the courts will only look at the use itself and not at the financial status or overall mission of the user. Even if a use is commercial, it may tilt toward a finding of fair use if the use is considered to be transformative. This means the use must result in the creation of a new work that is different in character and adds something new. And when a work is considered transformative, factors like commerciality tend to carry less weight against fair use. For example, the seminal case on transformativeness held that commercial sales of Two Live Crew's rap parody of the song Oh Pretty Woman did not preclude a fair use ruling. The second factor considers the nature of the copyrighted work. Typically less complex than the first factor, factor two looks at whether the copyrighted work is factual, like a biography, or expressive, like a novel. Using a work of original expression tilts away from fair use, while using a work of a factual nature tilts toward fair use, because facts themselves are not protectable by copyright. Also, under the second factor, a finding of fair use is more likely if the protected work is published than if the protected work is unpublished. In video three, we'll look at the third and fourth factors of the fair use test. To learn more about fair use and copyright in general, visit copyrightalliance.org.